Amanda, we have to start with one person, Megan Rapino. So much focus on her pre-game. How telling do you feel was her influence on this match? Oh, Patrick, yeah, as you said, Megan Rapino writing all the headlines in the run-up to this match. And you felt maybe it was written in the stars that it would be her who ultimately put her side into the World Cup semi-final. She'd very much been playing down those suggestions that her verbal spat with President Donald Trump about whether or not she was going to visit the White House if she was invited at the end of this tournament. She'd been playing down the fact that there was that was going to distract her, detract from her side and their quest for that record extending, as you said, fourth World Cup club crown and she absolutely came out of the blocks finding the back of the net within the first five minutes and from there really the US took a real stranglehold uh, and really took the advantage over France the pretenders to their crown perhaps though we shouldn't be surprised because for all Rapino speaks about the issues and makes her point in terms of political and social activism, the likes of her fight for equality and rights for the LGBT community, for, for supporting Colin Kaepernick and his anthem protests, as we've seen in the last couple of years. For all of that, she has always done her part and more on the pitch. She's a veteran of the US women's team for 13 years, made her debut in 2003, helped them to Olympic gold in 2012, helped them to World Cup success four years ago in 2015, and here tonight scored her fourth and fifth goal in four games in a US shirt.